Supreme Court nominee Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson is back for a final day of questioning in her confirmation hearings. Judge Jackson faced 12 hours of senators' questions Tuesday with some Republican senators accusing Judge Jackson of being soft on crime, a charge Democrats dismiss. Deborah Alferone has more details from Capitol Hill. I just don't... I just want to lodge a protest. Day three of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's Supreme Court confirmation hearings kicked off with partisan bickering over how the hearings are being run. After every time somebody on this side of the aisle asks questions of the judge, you come back and you denigrate and you attack and you criticize the line of questioning. I think the judge is doing a pretty good job of defending her own position and answering questions. Chairman Dick Durbin defended his handling of the hearings and said some of the questions had less to do with Judge Jackson's record and more to do with politics. To showcase talking points for the November election, for example, all Democrats are soft on crime, therefore this nominee must be soft on crime. Some Republicans have said Judge Jackson was too lenient on sex offender sentencing, a claim that former Senator Doug Jones, who President Biden picked to guide Judge Jackson through the confirmation process, dismissed. We were expecting tough questions, but you know we're not quite expecting care, uh, questions that mischaracterize her record and those kind of things. Her record speaks for itself. In an equally divided Senate, Judge Jackson's eventual confirmation vote is shaping up to be mostly along party lines. Based on what I'm hearing so far, I just have a hard time supporting her based on what I know. The White House says one or two Republicans may still be convinced to vote to confirm Judge Jackson to the Supreme Court. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill.